And now we can see that since we have cut these two blocks the exact same size, they are in fact identical in every way. Every DAW can do this identically. Sum tracks to a master bus. Get the pan loss set right, make sure the dither's not messing with anything, and that's it. They're all perfect, they're all identical. If this is identical, everything's identical. Wrong! Let's take a 997 hertz sine wave, make a two second automation fade, and see what we got. Oh, f those aren't Logic the same. Like Let's try again with the 997 hertz sine wave, and this time we'll just do a quick jump to zero. Just as soon as I can get Logic to put the stupid point in the right place, come on. Ah! Look at that little pop at the end. That's what we're looking for. Those should all look identical. Let me make this easier. Protos, Clubase, Logic. Protos, Clubase, Logic. But maybe the waveforms look similar. Despite Cubase having a short fade and being early and Logic having a long fade and Pro Tools being basically perfect, they're about the same. 997 hertz sine wave and this time we'll do a two second fade. I just gotta get Logic to snap to two seconds here and ah! And once again, the results are absolutely identical. Let's record that bypass automation again, but at different buffer sizes and using all the various settings that you can use in Logic to mess everything up. No matter what I did, Pro Tools came out perfect. Cubase changed the location of the automation and the amount of fade applied to the automation depending on which buffer size it was. Logic was about as good as Logic can be until you start changing settings and then this... <laughs> all DAWs sound the same, as long as you don't use any of their features. Check out the text-based article in the description below if you want to see more, and I strongly suggest you try this out for yourself. Don't trust anybody online, especially if they're making videos. Go to patreon.com slash if you want to support me, and I hope you have a great day.